All right, in this section here, I'm going to show you how to use the masking fluid again. We practiced the technique with our acrylic paints, but really masking fluid, I know to be more common when used with watercolor. And oftentimes it's used to mask the actual white of the paper. As you've probably noticed, there is no white in your watercolor sets. And that's because white isn't really going to show up on the paper, just the way watercolor works. So the way to, if you're trying to create a very, very bright white, you need to save the paper. And one way to do that is to use masking fluid to make sure that no accidents happen. So I have masking fluid up in the front. Make sure to use a junk brush with this one. And then you can paint it directly on the paper. You could you know, paint a wash and then once that water was dry, use masking fluid and save that color. Um, but usually it's used to save the white of the paper. So I know here in the Midwest, in Wisconsin, we are so done with winter. But when I think white, I think snow. And so I'm going to use masking fluid to reserve a little snow scene. So I have drawn out with pencil just a loose outline of my scene that's going to have pine trees with snow on it, snow falling in the sky, and then snow on the ground. And I know snow isn't all white, but I could always go back on top of the masking fluid and add, you know, hints of blue or whatever color I'm trying to preserve. All right, so before I add my color, I have to let that masking fluid dry, otherwise it's just going to smear. So that'll take maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Wash your junk brush out, and then you can return the masking fluid up front.